The Tsar's plan? Destroy all Jewish life in Russia. I shall try to make for them a new home in different lands, where as free farmers on their own soil, they can make themselves useful to the country. De Hirsch resettled Russian Jews in the Americas, north and south. Although de Hirsch's plan ultimately proved as rocky as the farms of Connecticut, where many of the Jewish immigrants settled, de Hirsch's impact was undeniable. I was born in this house on March 28, 1919, and I've been here all my life so far. Yeah, it was a shift from going from a lot of hand labor to sort of using the machines. And, and it wasn't like you could go into Sears and buy some of these machines. They were cutting ice. The machine they cut with ice, they made themselves. They designed it themselves. There are many tales that come out of these farms. Uh, there's the famous story of the man who only fed his horse every other day and was surprised that the horse didn't work very well for him. When the house caught a fire, and there were no fire companies around that time. And if you couldn't put it out yourself, it was a goner, and that's what happened. 1938 hurricane demolished the uh, chicken coops. They had to go out of business because the hurricane just killed the animals. But there was a dark side to our Jewish brethren, and they had to be in the bootleg business. And Ludus at one time, I think in the 1950s, it peaked with over 50 resorts. Many of them were Jewish. All of them were started, I think, by farm families, country families, that took in first friends and relatives and then paying customers. It was quite the thing for local people to do. And, and the talent that came was Broadway talent at the time. The decline of the farmers, because the, Jew, the younger generation got educated, they want to go to high school. They went to high school, then they went to college. They got educated and they didn't care about farming. If I don't tell the story, and if I don't preserve the history, it's, it's going to be lost with me because I'm the last one that had any direct contact with the people that farmed this actively and, and did the work on this farm. So there's been a Himmelstein on this farm for 97 and a half years now. <laughs>